All right, an update to the affidavit story. Some of you have mentioned that she was wearing a skirt. So, my bad. I apologize. But this makes it even worse, even more unbelievable. It would have been better for her to have on tight jeans because she says she has a skirt on. Now, let's use our imagination. All right, here we are. We're in a bar. It's crowded. We're in Kansas. I got my whole life in front of me. I lose control. I lose my mind. I grab a girl who has a skirt. Now, I take my hand and I grab her butt. She said it took one minute for him to do what she claims he did. So, using your imagination, there you are, one girl on the other arm with your free hand. You grab another girl in a skirt, grab her butt. Now, according to her word, he spent at least 50 seconds, 50 seconds, grabbing around her butt in her vagina area, according to her word, for at least 50 seconds, at least. Then, after 50 seconds, at least of rubbing her stuff, her butt and her vagina area. She claims he fingered her for 10, five to 10 seconds. Now, these are guesses. Based on her testimony, she's not intelligent. So I'm sure she's just making up a number in her mind. But anyway, this makes it worse. At least with the tight jeans, at least there's a struggle. That's why it's taking so long to reach her spot. But with a skirt, <laughs> it's just right to it. There's no problems. So this makes it worse. The fact she had a skirt on makes it worse. So Terrence Shannon lifted up her skirt, grabbed her butt, and then for 50 seconds, Massaged her butt and her vagina area. The whole time she's holding her drink, holding her phone in a crowded bar. No one sees it. She doesn't make a sound. And then after at least 50 seconds, he goes in. And then for five to 10 seconds, she takes it. According to her, the whole time she doesn't spill her drink or drop it. The whole time she doesn't say a word. And let's clear up another thing. Her friend, who had a testimony herself, that's the one that recognized that hair. Terrence Shannon Jr., your hair is the key. She recognized that hair, knew he was a basketball player, and knew he had money. And I guarantee you, she's the one that told her friend, he's got money. Let's get some money. It didn't work out. These two should be arrested, prosecuted, put in prison for 50 years. And the last thing, shame, 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 shame on this district court. Obviously, it's a liberal court because liberal courts, evidence doesn't matter. Truth doesn't matter. And once again, I looked up this court. I looked up this court. They are proud liberals. Look, 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 look for yourself. It's not a secret. So anyway, sorry. It wasn't tight jeans. It was a skirt. This makes it worse. This Friday, if Terrence Shannon Jr. is not back on this team, I am going to make a video and I am going to snap. I am going to rip liberals apart. I'm going to rip the University of Illinois, which is a liberal college. I'm going to rip them apart. I'm going to destroy the whole thing this Friday. If Terrence Shannon Jr. is not back on his team, I'm going to make a video that will shake the world. So look forward to that. If, if Shannon Jr. is not back on his team Friday, he better be. So, all right. I just want to clear that up. Thanks for pointing that out and happy to clear it up.